But then, listen, hey, you, you've seen comedians before. We always have loads of stories about hotels because that's our life, right? But even in real life, I've moved 12 times in the last 10 years, some ridiculous amount of house moves I've done in the last while, which is, you know, depressing. And to the young men here, you may have heard this thing about how it's the most stressful thing in the world to move. And yeah, it is and it isn't, right? But, you know, there's, there's, a, there's some upside, right? You know, and this may bore you because you haven't done it yet. But trust me, there is an upside in which you get to look around other people's houses. Right? And we all like looking around other people's houses. You can tell that by the amount of property shows, you know, whether it's like location, location, or grand designs, or property ladder is my favorite show. Not just because, you know, there's property there, but also because uniquely there's an expert that nobody pays any attention to. <laughs> Very few television shows employ somebody to go in and go Magnolia and be completely ignored by the people where they go, no, no, not Magnolia, Sarah. We're going to paint it black and tarmacat on the floor and then create hooks that people have to drag themselves up. And we're still going to make seven grand of profit. <laughs> uh, and Sarah Beanie's getting furious, going, it's not real profit, it's not real profit. And she's pregnant, she's not pregnant, she's pregnant again. <laughs> she's like a one-woman continuity disaster area, you know? <laughs> you watch Property Ladder going, Jesus, Sarah, how long has it taken you to paint this fucking house? You've had three children in the time that they've been doing up that outside toilet. <laughs> but it is just nice to look into other people's houses. How many of you live in a house? And how many of you live in a house that has a ground floor? Yeah. Yes, the majority of you. Here's a little hint, here's a little request. Put up some curtains. Put up some curtains or some like blinds or Venetians or something. And if you're not going to do that, don't have a big miserable puss on your face staring out when I stare in. <laughs> I can't understand people who look miserably at you when you look into their house. Put up some curtains, otherwise I'm looking into your feckin' house, right? <laughs> and don't get me wrong, like, I don't vault over the garden wall and run up to the window and go, Toof. <laughs> and squeak my face across the glass. <laughs> I like what you've done with the place. <laughs> I just mean you're walking past the house, it has no curtains, you look in. And people are always sitting there going, what the fuck are you doing looking in? <laughs> and I'm sorry, I'm going to look in, right? Just because you're sitting there reading like a slut. You knew I was going to look in, didn't you? <laughs> Put up some curtains, otherwise it's like having cleavage on the front of your house. I'm going to look in, right? <laughs> Here's the most extreme example of that. Has anyone here ever been in Miami? Few of you have. And did you do that boat trip? where you see the famous people's houses. You did, you did that, right? For those of you who have never done, done, seen this, Miami is a collection of archipelagos and islands and bits of land and loads of water, right? And there is a, like, there's one part of it which is owned by, just houses owned by, incredibly expensive houses owned by American celebrities like Gloria Estefan and Shaquille O'Neal and all these people live on this, on this island, right? And it's incredibly private. You can never drive up to it or walk up to it because there's men with guns and shutters and, you know, all sorts of protection. But all the houses back on to the water. So every hour, four times an hour, boats pull up to the bottom of the garden and a guy goes, that's Gloria Estefan's house. And everyone in the boat goes, ooh, click, 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 click. And they play a bit of Gloria Estefan. <laughs> and you're kind of going, what fucking manner of idiot is Gloria Estefan? Spent $20 million on a house so that every 15 minutes she's doing the drying up in the kitchen and a fucking boat pulls up to the bottom of the garden. <laughs> And the voice goes, Gloria Estefan. And 400 people go, ooh, click, 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 click. Rhythm is gonna get you. Uh, <laughs> and it does. It's very addictive. <laughs> and if it's bad for her, two doors up from her lives this guy, not a celebrity, just a rich guy, you know, Johnny Van Fugelmogel of the Van Fugelmogel Finance Corporation, something like that. <laughs> and the boat pulls up to his garden, they go, this house is owned by Johnny Van Fugelmogel of the Van Fugelmogel Finance Corporation. And the entire boat goes, ooh. <laughs> I've never heard one of his singles, I've never seen his movies, he's clearly an idiot. I don't like him at all. Right? <laughs> How quickly would you go insane if you'd spent 20 million dollars on a house and you're sitting on a deck chair in your, in your garden just looking out and a fucking boat pulls up to the bottom of the garden and 400 people look at you and go, oh, you're shit. <laughs> You'd be at the end of the garden flinging your own poo at the boat by the end of the first <laughs> week. Like, you know. You'd be going, I know I'm not famous, I know I'm not Gloria Estefan, but I know Gloria Estefan. I, yeah, I, I, I could go, see that strimmer? That's Gloria Estefan's strimmer, you know? And I'm not giving it back to her either. <laughs> the people who were there, you were, on the, you were on that boat, did you? Did you see any of the famous people? No. You didn't. Oh, it's a rare treat. But we saw Gloria Estefan. Mm. She swam with the boat. <laughs> 
It was magical. She suddenly shot out of the water and everyone, oh my God, there's Gloria. And the boat sped up and Gloria was shooting in front of the water. <laughs> and then she was under the boat at one stage and we ran to the other side. She popped up there and you could reach down and stroke her. It was amazing. She, her skin was like tarpaulin, and like leather, but it was smooth but hard. And then the kid in the boat was a bit simple in the head and they lowered him into the water and, and she swam with him for a while and it seemed to calm him down. And then at the end, she shot out of the water and then the rest of the Miami sound machine shot out of the water behind her. Just the most be- I may be mixing it up with a different holiday. Uh, so. Hi, this is Dara Breen. This is my YouTube channel, so subscribe and like to get more funny clips.